Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Les Guy. And today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on Black Ops 2 and what I thought about it. If you guys don't know, well you guys don't know, only some of you do, but not a good majority of you guys do. Anyways, I waited a midnight release uh, for Black Ops 2 at my local GameStop and you know I got the game I was pretty excited so you know I got home I installed the game first game we played was on the boat hijacked I believe domination and we were already getting spawn trapped at sea flag hardcore like you can't get out right there and then I knew this game was gonna be a piece of shit yeah I, I said it uh, I have a positive KD and a positive win loss ratio but it doesn't matter. This game isn't really that fun. E either you or the other person are going to get OP'd by connection or just the stupidity and the hit markering of the game. I mean the aim assist or whatever you want to call it. The aiming system. Uh, I don't understand some of the snipers. Like uh, I think it's the ballista where you get crazy hit markers. That's just retarded. And I think David Vondahar said, uh, just because it zooms in faster, you're going to get a, a higher chance of hit markers. That doesn't make sense to me. A sniper's a sniper. And then some of the snipers are OP like that. In the SVU, or I'm not sure. It's the first sniper. It takes two shots to kill somebody, but there's no recoil. Uh, some of the assault rifles. I don't know. This game, I honestly do not like it. It's just frustrating. It's not a game of gun skill. It's more of a game of teamwork where you you have to be rolling with the full party to win. It's hard to gain an objective when nobody wants to play objectively. Especially in hard point, man. It's hard to be the only one on it while your teammates are just running around and trying to catch up. Especially Dom. When you switch sides and you have a right when you start off. And you have B and A or B and C. And your enemy only has one flag. And you guys are down maybe by 40 points. And you got two minutes to catch up. It's it's not going to work. You're going to lose. You need to cap everything and keep it on. But, like I said, you got to be rolling with the full party. Uh, this game's pretty frustrating. The only thing that I honestly like about it is uh, zombies. Zombies is fun as hell. Especially the, I think it's transit. It is fun as hell, man. Uh, I think they put more effort into the zombies than the multiplayer. But also the maps. There are so many head glitching spots. Uh, David Vondahar tweeted that uh, the map designers were talking with MLG players while they were creating the maps. What the fuck, man? Honestly, I do not want to play a game where there's head glitches here and there. But most people say, well, there's a counter head glitch spot. Yeah, but at a certain point, I just don't want to be seeing somebody's head and I have to kill them. Like, they should have made this game better. They shouldn't have gotten advice from MLG players. They should have just gotten advice from the people that play the game. Public matches, not just private matches, competitively. Because, let's face it, we're the ones that go play pubs and that's it. If you do MLG or GB, I'm not saying there's something wrong with that, but you're not the majority that plays the game. It's us, the ones that go play pubs or private matches. But this game, I don't know. We're, we'll see where it's go, where I, where it will go. Uh, yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. So yeah, this has been Leska and peace.